Well, I've got starting time, so I guess I can begin. I'll be uh, doing voice while uh, Speakeasy sends it out in text. Um, I am, you know, saying Zoom. Actually, I think Speakeasy tells you that too. It's been almost 10 years since I started uh, wandering around in here. And uh, let's see. I sort of got started doing this uh, just because I've been maintaining uh, Expedition uh, Central sites, whose uh, creator left us uh, about a year and a half ago. And all of the problems I've run into trying to uh, make it current. This talk is not intended as a lecture. Rather, this discussion should be a starting point for individual thought and actions. It may become necessary to act as a group approaching our providers, though. And just about 10 years ago, I landed here on Isti Island. And looks like leg, leg is killing me now. So I was pretty uh, amazed just by landing on Issy Island and meeting people there. My second week here, uh, one of the docents, Thunder and Scipio, took me to Second Life Botanical Gardens. I was totally amazed by that. And a lot of people used to gather around there in front of the uh, ISTE headquarters, and I was telling them about what I was amazed by. And one of the guys there uh, said uh, he hosted uh, uh, tours every, I think it was every Thursday. And I started uh, going on those with them. Tour guide happened to be Cyrus Hush. Who in real life was Matthew Poole. And this sort of started a uh, very fun and informative relationship. He took me to a lot of places. And for a, a long time we shared uh, places that we found as we were uh, wandering around in Second Life. And there's a picture of Cyrus. Every time I visited one of his sites, I was overwhelmed by the number of uh, landmark givers that uh, Cyrus had at uh, the Expedition Central sites. Here's a shot looking up at them, and I think this was in uh, Chobo. Then on June 5th of 2016, I was saddened to learn of Cyrus's surprise and sudden passing. I had hinted memorials in several communities. This was at Vistia Island. This was in Chobo. And uh, And this is the Chapel of, of Hope Preservation in Caledon. Of 
Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize ISTE was uh, not that well known. Um, I'll remember to include that in uh, the next update. And since then, out, I uh, learned that quite a few people have uh, um, passed that we all have known. And uh, There are pictures on either side of the display showing uh, the real life person who I met as uh, Patio Plasma when I first started here. And an old friend of mine, Grace Slick, once sang, Life is change, how it differs from the rocks. But we all know that second life is constantly changing. This is the Visti um, exponential site. And this is the one in Chilbo. These are the only two that remain now. One of the problems that I encountered uh, in trying to update them was the fact that having created everything, it would, the ownership was still Cyrus's and uh, made it really hard to do much. So how would I update them, replace all of the exponential central, expedition central landmarks giving uh, the landmark giving plaques. Fortunately, a friend of Cyrus has shared with me permissions on some of his objects. This enabled some minor changes, but uh, none uh, you know, that gave me complete control of them. So I was faced with how to figure out how to at least update things, keep them going. After testing all the plaques, I began collecting new or replacement landmarks, making newly labeled snapshots and uploading them. I then made masks to risk res just outside of the ones that were no longer valid or accurate. This involved a lot of edit time and upload expense in and out of Second Life. It also increased the prim count on the uh, sites. Cyrus was just one of the several accomplished Second Life and social media friends I have lost. Daily other social media lament the loss of active contributors and participants. We have lost their art, their builds, and their philosophies. I'm certain everyone present can say the same regarding lost friends in and out of Second Life. You may have seen this uh, related news item. The owner of Canada's largest cryptocurrency exchange has left 145 million pounds worth of cryptocurrency locked in a digital wallet to which he reported they had the only password. Gerald Cotton, CEO of Quadriga CX Exchange, died on December 10th, 9th in India. And 
Actually, another ninety million was uh, inadvertently saved to the that locked wallet just recently. His wife states that she doesn't know the password or the recovery key, despite it repeated uh, and diligent searches. My wow, leg is really slowing things down here. The funds were stored in a cold storage wallet not connected to the internet and accessible only to people who knew the private keys or passwords. This is a standard practice for many of the cryptocurrency exchanges to prevent hacking. We have traditionally been able to save past great works with libraries, archives, and museums. Now, with so much creativity occurring digitally, we need ways to capture and pass that along. It may be done on the it may be on the internet forever, but it may be degraded, plagiarized, or lost. I had several friends that shared their account information with someone they trusted. Sorry, the lag is really getting to me. This has helped several save orphaned works. A mutual friend had saved, shared her permissions with Cyrus. She has since shared her permissions with me. This has helped to some extent. I just this week learned of another uh, avatar who passed in uh, the past week. I think it was on Wednesday. Um, you may or may not know her. I'll put her on the in the text here. This was a fortunate thing because her daughter basically had taken over all of her social media accounts as she was uh, getting further and further along the way. Getting some permissions helped me to some extent, but I still couldn't move, edit, or delete uh, the uh, objects that were in the Expedential, Expedition Central sites. Uh, and as a warning, if you decide to share with a trusted friend, be sure to read the uh, terms of service with whoever your providers are. Um, and so you know exactly how they handle things. Um, I have contacted uh, several of them, and none of them have replied back to me. But generally, they they kind of look at anything that's created on their servers as their intellectual property and don't want to share it. There's a note card giver here, and it has a comp compilation of Linen Labs uh, terms of services and several other resources to help guide you towards uh, securing your digital uh, legacy. If you can encounter additional articles or links, please send them to me, either in World or at my uh, email at yosain.zun at gmail.com, and I'll add them to this compilation. So I'm open to any discussion or questions now.
There's a blog post in the uh, resources by, uh, um, of course, now in my mind blanks, but uh, the suggestion is to add uh, a digital contact, uh, emergency contact to your picks, and uh, it would be nice if uh, we could get Linden Lab to actually add a emergency contact tab to our profiles. I've seen uh, some people have done wills, and I think in a previous discussion somebody said that varies with states whether um, that's accepted or not. I've been wondering about uh, the Creative Commons licenses, and I guess I need to go back and read them again. I think I read them about 10 years ago, but uh, that might actually help in some respects, at least stuff that you've created and given to other people. Builds, I don't know if, uh, I don't think I've ever seen Creative Commons licenses uh, attached to builds
So unless anybody wants me to leave this stuff up, I'll go ahead and clean up after myself. Now, for what it's worth, uh, just giving somebody your account information so they can log in after you passed is also uh, a chancy thing. A friend uh, had that happen to actually a teacher for her sim, and he had uh, said that he was going to donate all of his cash to the uh, the building school. And uh, when he passed away, she logged in on his account. Linden Lab was able to tell that it wasn't him, and she got banned, and it actually took court proceedings for her to be able to get back into uh, Second Life again. Oh, I thought they got a free pass to go wherever they wanted to.
Uh, Tag, I turned my voice off. I figured you guys didn't need to hear my scratchy voice. Well, thank you.